What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Elsa Ray. So, I'm still on this deplatform feeling culture mission. And I came to some more realizations about men, specifically black men. And yeah, I know the sun is like sunning for me today. So, I'm going to go ahead and do it like this. So, yeah, so cheating, extramarital affairs. Um, having multiple women without consent. Um, if you think about it, it goes all into the pimp culture, right? Okay, so let's 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 break this down. So, a lot of pimps nowadays, from like the conscious community and the vegan community, and the I'm spiritual, I'm better than you because I don't eat meat community. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They be like the what well, they call themselves the um fuck. Um, Pan Africanists, that community. Yeah. Okay. So those people. All right. So you know they always talk about polygamy and having multiple wives. Like that's like the the standard of expectation. Like the fetishization of being a part of the African diaspora is the acceptance of having multiple wives, not multiple girlfriends, not multiple side chicks. Not multiple women that don't even know about each other. Not multiple sexual partners. Multiple wives. Let me please explain, reiterate, and very much so set some clarification to that. Okay? So, that whole era is a part of pimp culture. And I'm going to tell you why. So, let's take this shit all the way back to West Africa. Let's go all the way back to, like, Battery, Nigeria. Let's go back to when the old... Oh, the Alafines of Oyo was in, like, doing a thing before, like, colonization really fucked everything up. But it was, like, colonization didn't really fuck everything up because it was already fucked up. Yeah, it was fucked up before the colonizers got there. They just didn't want to acknowledge it was fucked up. So, the first slaves that were of high caliber were the wives of the fucking kings of Nigeria and West Africa. Their multiple wives was like, they had no rights. It was like, basically like they were slaves. And when they were selling motherfuckers, the first motherfuckers that was getting sold was the women that they was married to that they didn't want to be with no more. Yeah. As soon as they was like, oh shit, blah, 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 blah. Like to the point where y'all, I have a video about this where you look at like the Allah things of Oyo and you like look at all their sons. Their sons is documented, but all their wives that birthed them damn sons is not documented in history. The only one documented in history is the kings. So they basically erased them like they was irrelevant. So all they used them for was what? To have their babies. What is these niggas doing now? Using women to do what? Have their babies. You see how history repeats itself? Like you on, you on, your ancestors done been sold to slavery, moved across the world, you in a whole new land, and you still got the same fuckboy tendencies that you had before your ass came to this goddamn country. And you want to know why? Because it's a generational curse, and it is something genetic. These motherfuckers are genetically incompetent. They are genetically designed based on their, their intergenerational trauma that they really don't give a fuck to heal. These motherfuckers are broken. They want to talk about, oh, black women is broken. Oh, women is broken. You don't have no daddy. They be sound like demons. I'm telling you, that's my demon voice. When I when I want to sound like them, that's my demon voice. And the demon voice, they say the woman is broken. But how are you supposed to be the leader? You the one documented in history. We the ones being erased. We the ones having our rights taken. We don't have no power, remember? So how is it that we supposed to be following you as a leader? But how the fuck we going to follow your ass when your motherfucking dick is killing all of us? Your dick is killing all of us. Think about it. All the leaders that we've had, damn near. I don't know. I ain't really dug into Malcolm X's shit. But I can tell you for a fucking fact that Dr. Martin Luther King's ass had a fucking affair. Oh, they not gonna like this shit. Oh, they not gonna like this shit. This is one of the main things. Because y'all may or may not know. My great-grandmother and great-grandparents were friends with Dr. Martin Luther King. So his ancestral lineage is very much so connected to mine, even though I'm not blood related to this man. So as one of my ancestors and as one of his descendants, when I've had my conversations with my ancestors, whether it be I'm writing it or I'm in a dream world talking to them, I have made it very clear to Dr. Martin Luther King for a very, I want to say like a year I was mad as fucking him. Like, and I think this was when I was still in Atlanta, like, I was so mad. Like, I think that year that I, like, finally, like, I think he finally, like, 
admitted to me in a dream world, like showed me a, like what the woman or the women who he was having affairs with looked like while it was the civil rights movement was going on. My, I don't, I mean, Coretta Scott King is gone now, so she probably know. But Coretta Scott King didn't know who all the women was he was fucking around with during the civil rights movement before his ass died. So he told me that him having his dick all over the place and him stepping out on his wife to to even to the day after he died roll for him girl y'all listen y'all be over here celebrating dr martin luther king this motherfucker ain't nobody without coretta because his ass was gone look at all these other civil rights movement le leaders do they got museums do they got a day do they got statues like dr martin luther king do no okay so who the fuck you think did all that shit crickets i wait coretta scott king did that because his ass wasn't alive to do that his kids wasn't old enough to do the shit who had his back and was there for him the woman that wiped all his goddamn kids that allowed his ass to be in a position of political power that his other fucking ass had see these motherfuckers be so ungrateful they just think with they dicks they be out here shitting on women and uh, built they ass from fucking goddamn nothingness to somethingness uh, gave them all type of intellectual goddamn put on on game and everything was the best wife they probably could have been i mean goddamn it i mean i know black women sometimes ind indigenous women latinas women caribbean women you know all of us women that's got some melanin a lot of us we, we a little spicy so sometimes it'd be hard to put up but if a woman is riding for you and she done built your ass up from nothing to something and you shit on her you is nothing you ain't shit and I'm just tired of it. This shit is a part of the pimp culture. This is why this shit is so goddamn prevalent. Motherfuckers be like, well, I'm married to my wife. I ain't like that. You cheating on her, ain't you? Because I'm going to tell you this. I'm a fine-ass woman. I know this shit. And I look young as fuck, but I'm really not. So I be knowing all the bullshit. So I get hit with all the little old heads that think that I don't know nothing because they think I'm young. They think I'm in my early 20s, but little do they know I'm damn near 30 years old. And I promise you, I cannot count how many married men specifically powerful married men go out of their way to try to talk to me go out their way to try to make me the side chick try to make me the side baby mama the ex-maritable baby mama and shit the, the baby on the side the wife don't know about right i'm talking about pastors preachers all type of motherfuckers that y'all y'all these supposed to be y'all outstanding members of the society these motherfuckers know what i'm into they know i'm into spell work they know i'm into candles they know i'm into um crystals they still want my ass on the pulpit like I'm motherfucking goddamn the goddamn first lady and shit. And still got a wife. What is wrong with y'all? What is wrong with y'all? I'm not saying that women don't motherfucking cheat. But what I'm saying is this shit has gotten out of control. The gene keys are cursed, bro. Y'all gotta do something. Ain't nobody about... I'm tired as a woman. Motherfuckers want to make it seem like I gotta go all out my way be all fucking abused, mistreated, estranged, and fucked up and shit to heal your trauma as you don't want to do. Why is it women always got to do all the work for y'all? For generations, y'all have led us into goddamn despair. Despair. We 400 years of y'all leading us into fucking despair. The civil rights movement happened, what, in the 50s? Started in the 50s? I'm, I'm, I'm just throwing out shit. We in 2023 and these motherfuckers is shooting us down like dogs on a goddamn TV. And y'all ass over here think you did something to help us. Pimp culture is commercialized on the goddamn music more now than ever, goddamn. We are, they are reawoken a whole new slave trade intercommunally in your own community, black man. And you still out here fucking sticking your dick everywhere. And now, instead of it just being black women, you sticking your dick, you stick your dick in everybody else's shit and fucking up their fucking families too. You ain't never noticed that shit. They take their little fucked up ass dick to all these races of women and you fucking their families up too, making them baby mamas and cheating on them too. But first, we was the problem though. We was sensitive. But you still going out here fucking up other people's fucking households too, making other people baby mamas. And that, it don't matter how high in the food chain, you could go all the way up to motherfuckers at the White House, all the way down to the goddamn streets. It's the same shit. I knew I was hitting on someone. I was watching a video earlier today when a woman from Kenya said, there's two men in this world you don't want to date. A drug kingpin and a politician. I said, damn. For all this time, I've been feeling like dating a politician is like dating a fucking drug dealer, except probably the drug dealer probably got more money than the politician. Slick. Slick. Because we ain't about to get into that, all the shadiness and, and the shadow shit that goes on in politics. Them motherfuckers probably do kingpins anyway.
But that's not, not the conversation for today. So for a, a, a melanated woman to say dating a politician is equivalent to dating a drug lord spoke volumes to me. Volumes. I'm just like, damn. I don't think we got a chance. I'm going to tell you why I don't think we got a chance. I'm going to tell you why. Because it's not just about you adjusting your household. Men are so gullible. Like, like they're, a lot of them are just so easily swayed. If a few of their friends start saying something, they're going to do it. They are very, very vulnerable to peer pressure. And this is why they become such victims and perpetuators of adultery and cheating okay this is predatory behavior for you to have a woman married to you thinking you she gonna be the only one y'all done made vows to death do you part all this extra shit you done sold her a dream and then she find out that she understood her body for your motherfucking ass so you can have a, a fucking seed and generations to come um, put her life in the line. Don't even know it. Black women be out here protecting your goddamn ass out here in these streets. We are spiritually powerful as fuck. So she using her womb to protect you and you still out here fucking around. See, that's why I'm saying. That's why I can't be in a relationship. Because these women out here that I've been seeing that's with these powerful ass men and they been getting cheated on and they just been acting like it's okay. Bitch, you couldn't be me. Bitch, I got receipts. Oh, me not fuck with motherfucker. I'm talking about 15 plus years on past by motherfucker still. I just, I know my shit heat. That's how I know my motherfucking goddamn vagina is heat. It's been 10, 15 years. You still obsessed. It's ridiculous. That's another reason why I can't I can't be out here fucking giving out community shit like these motherfucking men do. I think like y'all, but I can't be out here. I've been in I be on a carton so where motherfucker been on kill my ass because he's so obsessed with my shit. He uh, took my life so he could so nobody else could ever get it. I can't live like y'all do. But y'all got motherfuckers out here trying to unalive each other. I mean, the baby mama side chick stories I don't heard is nuts. Destroy their reputation, slam them in the media, all this shit. And, 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 and the real problem the whole time was the motherfucking man and his dick. His cursed ass dick was the problem the whole time. His communal dick. And I, like, I'm going to say it like this. When I was talking to my therapist about this years ago, I was talking about long, this was one of my first therapy sessions I was talking about this shit because this was when my motherfucking ass almost caught charges for my fucking fiance cheating on me. See, this is why I told you I can't I can't rock with y'all. See, I don't almost went to jail off this shit. I spent I spent seven days in confinement over a motherfucker cheating on me. So I put my most highest regard of respect to these women out here that ain't caught no charges and ain't, ain't ended up in no foul ass fucked up ass shit, finding out that they spouse was cheating. Cause bitch, I'm psycho. I'm gonna fuck your ass up. I'm not fucking up the girl. Nah. If anything, I'm going to try to be friends with a bit. I'm going to be like, I want to know everything. Girl, where he took you? Where she took you out at? What y'all been doing? Girl, what? Girl, no, 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 I ain't married. No. Girl, I'm trying to be her girlfriend. I'm trying to be that dude friend. Because let's not, let's not pretend like these motherfuckers, we ain't got in the closet motherfuckers cheating too. See, that's another thing. Motherfuckers, we always worry about the woman. You in a homo, a heterosexual relationship. Not even knowing that your motherfucking, your motherfucking husband probably out here fucking men. Got fetishes and kinks and shit that you don't even know about. Your money that you're trying to figure out where it's going in there, using it to pay for, for sex workers or whatever the fuck. The sex addiction amongst melanated black men, specifically men in power, y'all just fucked up. And don't even get me on the politicians. Like, y'all supposed to be deplatforming slave culture and shit, but y'all motherfuckers got a long ass track record of horrible, broken ass, failed ass wet marriages. I mean, you just look down the line, senator, senator, divorce, 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 marriage, divorce, 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 like, damn, what the fuck? Y'all trying to force us to have relationships and shit because y'all not changing shit in policy and, po and politics, but y'all can't even keep a motherfucking woman in your goddamn house, no way. Because you out here fucking everything with a goddamn, anything that you feel like you can extract power from, you fucking it. Y'all probably fucking each other for all I fucking know. I'm over it. The pimp culture is so embedded, dog. This shit is 400 years back, man. Shit, I believe I, this is my theory. I feel like the first slave, the, the first, the first slave traders that came to the African continent was probably 
co coerced and charmed by the women that came on the boat with the, with the men. They was like the, the the black man was like the African man was like, oh, I ain't never had white pussy before, so I'm gonna sell all my fucking loved ones so I can try that for the first time. I want to see what the miles is on that motherfucker right there. Like we was cars or something. Oh uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna trade all my my all my best whips so I can get that yacht. The yacht was the white pussy. They sold hundreds of us for some white pussy. Yeah. So then now we over here like, what the fuck going on? So in years. Of, it's the Spongebob thing across the screen. 400 years later. Still same shit. Look at that. Most of these sports commentators, people in... If they, if they wife ain't white, she's so light-skinned, you don't know she ain't white. Shawty probably bleached her skin. I'm going to be honest with you. And I'm not saying that this is bad. Uh, light-skinned people beautiful too. But what I'm, I'm noticing a trend. 400 years later, I'm noticing a trend. The erasure of melanin... The degradation of the melanin and the womb is being degraded as a slave. We still being used as slaves. Prostitutes are slaves. Baby mamas are slaves. A form of human trafficking is being forced into marriage or being forced to have a child. What the fuck do you think? This is like, it's like levels, tunes of human trafficking. Like the whole baby mama epidemic is like the first level of human trafficking. Because when we was in fucking slavery and bondage, we was forced to fucking suck and, and, and mate with these motherfuckers because we were slaves. Now, they've turned around and we, be, we were supposed to be free, but now them same men are now forcing, coercing, raping you into having children and not wanting to be there for those kids. So how was the narrative any different? At least, like, before 400 years ago, you knew this ass got fucking sold to another plantation. What plantation they getting sold to now? Besides the football players and basketball players. But, oh, oh, I'm sorry, the Super Bowl coming. I can't say that. That the Super Bowl and the fucking in the NFL is a, is a part of the human trafficking and slave goddamn platform. For sure. Because the dude that definitely trafficked me was most definitely a football player. And I and, and that girl that got killed on December 6th, the same day as the UNLV shooting, that dude that um killed her was a basketball player. A professional one. So what is we doing? The music, the athletics, the politics are three interchangeable moving parts to the deplatforming of pimp culture. They support and continue the legacy of bondage and enslavement physically, mentally, emotionally, and specifically romantically. Romantically, the black woman is not the curse. The black man's dick is the fucking curse. So you need to go and find out what the fuck you went wrong at. Y'all need to go fucking get, learn how to be necromancers or mediums or some shit and go fucking talk to your forefathers like Dr. Martin Luther King and the rest of those motherfuckers and figure out where the fuck you need to fucking change because we not protecting your ass no more. We not. His ass gone. Who else was leaders that's gone? Your infidelity in your affairs will be the demise of your life. You will die in those light, in those energies. And if you have escaped that bullet, then you need to stop playing with fire. Because it's only a matter of time before the ancestors take your ass. So you better learn from Kevin Samuels' ass. His ass got taken out. Every black man that is doing stuff purposely to degrade and humiliate the black woman, your life line is ending very soon. The adultery will be no longer. We is not dealing with this no more. Whether that be we because we, we go date other races or something. But we not fucking with it no more. This new generation, millennial generation, I'm speaking for myself. I'm not accepting cheating and infidelity in my relationship. Because first of all, I don't need you. That's the first thing. I've been out here struggling and having to do it on my own anyway. Because motherfuckers that's supposed to look like me that are masculine and got dicks was doing everything in, that wor in this world to make a genocide for me to no longer be here. So I don't need you. Now, as far as breaking the generational curse, I am trying to do that. But if that means that I'm not going to be married to your ass, that means I'm not going to be married to your ass. And that means for all the rest of these motherfucking black women out here that want to change this shit. If it means for us to deplatform a slave and, and pimp culture, that means we do not have babies by black men. We do not date black men. We do not build with black men. We do not live in the same homes as black men. Because y'all already out the house. Y'all been doing us a fucking favor. Like, it's like... Every generation has been giving us closer and closer and closer to completely eliminating you from our entire existence and removing your genetic imprint from our DNA altogether. Soon, the fuckboy gene key will be gone. The one that came on the boat from Africa here, that y'all sent over here, 
to spread disease of chaos, confusion, and trauma to the rest of the fucking goddamn population of people that was already in America, the indigenous population, that gene key is, is set to expire very soon. And when that gene key expires, a lot of motherfucking um, fuckboys gonna expire too. So yeah, the deplatform of pimp culture is full swing, baby. As y'all kick off for the Super Bowl, I'm kicking off this deplatform and pimp culture right along, run that bitch down the field like y'all run that bitch down that ball down the motherfucking field. The D platform and the pimp culture is 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 up. And I'm not fucking with it. I'm not fucking with the infidelity. I'm not fucking with the cheating. I ain't fucking with the lies. I ain't fucking with all the games. You can keep them for your goddamn lame ass motherfucking female that don't love herself. Keep that shit away from us. Go find you a Becky that's gonna let you do that. That don't care. But just know, you creating your own soul ties, you laying in your own demons, and you ain't gonna never get access to a goddess like this walking moving in, and operating in the lower vibrational frequency in which you've been operating in and don't ever think you're gonna ever get up one over on a motherfucker like me bitch because i've been unslept next to you and seen you cheating i'm gonna know who the girl is where she lives what her name is what her mama name is damn near probably know who her ancestors is so y'all need to make some conscious decisions on what it is that you're gonna do that's gonna be different from what it is that you've been doing so far because Motherfuckers love to say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, bitch, it's been broke for a long ass time. And now it's time for you, black men, African men, melanated men, to accept your accountability and having fucked up ass gene keys and being romantically cursed. I don't care how much money you got. Y'all motherfuckers are cursed. And y'all keep spreading it to me and other women of melanin, and we are not fucking with you no more. We're not fucking with you no more. The Pygmisha, the Barbara, the Builders, and all them motherfuckers, they still fucking with you because they don't, they don't have no souls. The music has taken their souls out their fucking psyche and not their fucking skull. The rest of us, the ones that's looking like... But that's the thing. Y'all don't want them motherfuckers. Y'all want the motherfuckers that look like me. You want the motherfuckers that's glowing, fucking sparkle dust and shit, got the crystals on blow, got the energy on blow, got the sage going on. Got all the great, great energy vibe all into their culture and stuff. Got their indigenous names. You want us so you can destroy us. And I am unsubscribed to your fuckboy genocide campaign, Mr. President. Yeah. I am unsubscribed to your fuckboy campaign. Your fuckboy campaign, your cheating, your lies, your manipulations, all your bullshit, we is not subscribed to you no more. You do not have access. And when I say you don't have access, baby, you can sit across from me within earshot distance and you gonna feel like you are all the way across the world from me because I'm not giving you no access to me. I am not enabling the abuser of other melanated women who have gone above and beyond the fucking mission, knew the assignment to ensure that we as a legacy of people can move forward and thrive when your motherfucking ass is jealous, envious, insecure, unconfident, broken, and want to try to seek to destroy and snatch and extract that power from that woman because you can't go out here and build your own. You are weak as fuck. You the weakest link. We don't fuck with you. We not on your fucking side. And just know, if you didn't know, now you know where we stand with your motherfucking ass. And I don't believe in change until I see it. You sorry? Let me see it. First of all, first sign you sorry is some fucking money. That's the first motherfucking sign you sorry. The second sign is a addressing your fucking homeboys and your and your constituents. Is they what the, the fuck the problem is? My constituents. I don't know what the fuck that means. Wherever the people is, that you holding them motherfuckers too accountable for the fuckboy activities they be doing. And then all the other motherfuckers follow after. Alright? So if you ain't doing that, stay the fuck out my shit. Stay out my energy. Don't come sit at my table trying to be cool with me. Don't be trying to be my friend. Don't be trying to tell me I'm beautiful, trying to butter me up and shit. Trying to, you're not sticking your dick nowhere near close to me. Your tongue is not going in my ear. I don't want to hear your charm. I don't give a fuck about your campaign on how you're trying to get me in, 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 to be on your side and in bed with you and give my energy to you. I don't care. I'm not building your image for you to be a fuckboy and a dusty. So the, the, the genetic curse of the African dick, the BB, what, what they call them, the, B, the BBC curse, the BBC curse has to go. 
Because y'all really ain't got big dick energy. Because if you did, you wouldn't be out here slinging that motherfucker like it's mediocre. Y'all have an issue. If I had a big dick, I wouldn't want everybody sucking all my energy. I need all my big dick energy if I had a big dick. But I don't got a big dick. You know, I got a womb and shit. So, but, um, and that's why I'm very, I'm very cautious of who be near it. Because I know I got, I got big pussy energy. Okay? Y'all motherfuckers here, y'all just need to get in, get with the program. And, and, and learn to love yourself and stop trying to come over here and sabotage our motherfucking pussy empowerment plan that we we genetically are deserving of for all the legacies of years that we've been fucking oppressed by your motherfucking ass. We're not fucking with you no more. We don't need you. We can do it on our own. We already got you out the house. You, you've been out the house already. You've been out the house for about 30 years now. So... This, this, these podcasts and these videos and the music songs and all this other shit. You just, you just putting all the nails in your coffin, dog. You putting the nails in the coffin. You rolling it. You, you digging the hole. You, you and your partner digging the hole. And then y'all gonna roll each other into that bitch together. And y'all gonna stay in that hole forever. And nobody's gonna come visit your gravesite after y'all com completely finish cursing yourselves and destroying your own lives with all these extramarital affairs and side chicks and children and fuck shit and, pla and, and platforming and enabling pimp culture that you've been doing. Mm -mm. I, don't, I don't even think I got nothing else to say after that. Like, that, that was it. Like, I'm not supporting your fuckery anymore. Okay? On that note, from the African market, I'm gone.